it's Ian, and I have an exciting video today. So, get ready for some fun. Okay, that was really weird. But, um, if you have a bunch of dolls or Barbies at your house, this might come in handy. Because if you don't have enough money or you just can't get a Barbie dream house, then you don't need one because me and Sabine and Ian, whoa, I'm Ian. Okay, me and Sabine and Hera, we have created our own houses just with the stuff we find around our house. So we're just gonna give you, a, I'm just gonna give you a tour and show you how to improvise with your doll stuff, okay? So hook up for the video. That sounded completely weird. See, this is my dresser, right? Wrong, well actually it is right, but it's also home to a Barbie family of four, five. I forgot the baby. Here we have Violet, it's chilling in her bed. We have Janie the baby. And if you scoot over here, we have Summer and Ke I almost called him Kevin. River sitting and watching TV. I know that's a thing, an iPod, but I'm pretending it's their TV. Second thing, pretend. Anyways, then if we go through here, we go down, you can see Stella Monroe cooking her famous dinner. Wait, no, it's not. She's cooking her lunch because I just realized it's not dinner time. Anyways, give you a tour on the house and how to do it. First of all, this is not hard at all. You just need a little imagination. So Violet's just on a bin, a small bin, with a pillow I have and a blanket. Like, that's it. And then my Chelsea Summer, she sleeps on a boat. Which I pretend is her boat-shaped bed. And this is a bean bag for, like, bean bag toss. So, oh, and this is something my grandma knitted for me. Not knitted, crocheted. It's so sweet. And as you guys know, my favorite animal is a bunny. So. Then, um, Janie's just in a crib. We have some little woodsies. Anyways, then we have this drawer right here. Drawer. It was originally for my makeup and stuff, but, but then uh, I realized... Or not makeup, but jewelry and stuff. But then I just realized I could use it in Barbie house because it's their size. And yeah. So, I decided to put that there. Yes, I have a lot of Hatchimals. If you have more, like the video. If you have less, also like the video. If you don't know what Hatchimals are, like the video. And then, they have some toys. They have a dollhouse. And... Ian... Uh, okay. I spun the couch around. Just so you know, if you're wondering why she has an eye patch, it's because her makeup came off of this eye, so I improvised, used my imagination that she went blind in the eye, and it looks a little weird, so she put an eye patch on. Sharpie. Anyways, this couch they're sitting on, I made it. Well, I didn't, but my dad made it. Yeah. He just got some wood, cut it into pieces, and hot glued it into a couch. Yeah, just gave you all our secrets, so. Also, I know this chair looks flimsy and odd, but I made it and it's hot glue sticks, cardboard, and hot glue. And then this one is foam, hot glue, a feather, and felt. So, I don't care what it looks like as long as it's just there. Go back to watching TV. Then I have, of course, the Barbie closet, but they can't have only this much clothes. If you hear my dog barking in the background, just know it's my dog. Anyways, so we have the closet, but that's like barely any shoes and clothes, so. Where else is it? In this chest. Yeah, it's really fancy. It's from India. My uncle gave it to me. We were asking our cousin who came from India, like, all the way to America, 
to make a video with us as a special guest, but he just wouldn't. In Riverfall. Eh, anyways. Here is a bed that I am going to clean because it's very, 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 very messy. Okay. Yes, I just threw that person on the floor. So, um, here's a bed for Stella and River. It's just an American, an our generation blanket, our generation pillow, and a bin, a plastic bin. Um, now downstairs, which is only a kitchen. Okay, so Stella's cooking her famous dinner in, yes, it is a Barbie stove. Um, yeah, it's a Barbie stove, but that's one of the only Barbie furniture items in the house. See, look, and we just have a, a box as a table and a Barbie chair that came with a set. So that's my house that I created just out of a closet or a dresser. And now I'm going to show you. Sorry, there's so much commotion going downstairs. Our puppy is driving everybody crazy. Um, And now I'm going to show you hair on Sabine's. An old desk, which Sabine has turned into her Barbie house. Let me show you. Here's their dining room table. Old bin. Then here's some clay that she got. She made a couch out of a sock and like a fidget thingy which for Chelsea's. There's a couch here for Chelsea's, a city thingy here, and a stool for Barbie's. Then out of like one of these things, she made a Barbie dresser. And then she used her Barbie stove, yes. And I don't know why she put pasta on the stove in a box, which is gonna, I don't know. Anyways, then this is someone's bed, just a box. Then this is Cheetah's bed. Yes, I said Cheetah. She's a, if you've seen Wonder Woman, she has a doll of Cheetah that she has dressed in a sock. Um, this is Cheetah's bed. I don't tell Sabine I did that. There, fixed. Okay, now her downstairs. Okay. This is under the desk. She has beds and her baby. She's more beds. And then here's her family. Just, I have no idea what they're doing. Then here's like, I don't know what this is, like a little sitting nook thing. Well, anyways, see, she made a house. See all these beds? It's a tin, magnet tiles, a night light. And so, and then like a watercolor holder thingy. Yes. Okay. Well, now I'm going to go on to Hera's house. Hera's house is a bit more messy than I thought. But that's because I forgot that it just fell. Like, some, like she hasn't gotten to clean it in a while. Okay, anyways. Here is her upstairs. They're all at the dining room table, which again is a bin with paint on it. Her family, I don't know why the kid is sitting on the table. Okay. And yes, the Barbie stove, we all have them, I know. Um, oh, this is so cool, it's from our generation. And so is every single piece of food on this table, except for that. And that, I don't know what, I know what this is, but I don't know what that is. This is... Came with a Chelsea astronaut. Anyways, next room. Here's the living room. Ah, hold on. Yes, I know it's loud. Okay. There. She made a TV. Well, actually, Sabine made this. I don't know why she has it. But Sabine made this TV. And it's just like a plastic thingy with paper that she drew Moana on. Then there's a couch made of magnet tiles. Bedroom. I think 
Yeah, it's a bedroom. Pets room. Our uh, art, art room. Covered in beads. I don't know. Okay. Um. And then we have a vet thing. And uh, another vet thing. <laughs> And then a toy box and every single one of her pets. Yeah, there's a lot. There's like 50. Plus that one. That's my bunny slipper. Yeah, I'm doing this in my pajamas. Don't judge me. Quarantine has gotten us all into our pajamas all day and night. Anyways, she made this out of an old shelf. See, you can make practically anything for Barbies. You just need a little imagination. Anyways, I'm going to show you something. Oh, and if you're wondering if we play the, like with our Barbies just living in our house, yes, we do. Let me show you. For instance, I might do like this. Hmm. Hey guys, I'm kind of hungry. I want something. And make her go down to the kitchen. So, oh my gosh, it's chaos out downstairs. Anyways, um, now I'm gonna show you if you wanna do something else. Okay, Sabine, Sabine and Hera are joining me for this one. So, do you love playing like any game at all? Like, but you just don't have the stuff? Like, say you had, you wanted a stable. That would be so hard and so expensive. But like, do you, do they even make those? For Barbies? And for anything else? Probably not. So we're all about the playtime fun and we're just all about the fun. We don't care what it looks like. So we made this stable for Barbies or ponies. We made stables out of magnet tiles that are not looking so sturdy. That one's... Oh. Sorry. Here, I'll put it. I'll put okay, it you have to put it on. Like okay. And then we have more horses here, smaller horses. And then we have a feeding area. You can literally use any bin. Oh. Yeah, you just need a bin. Then you can put this. And, and you honestly, honestly, you don't need this thing right here, but our mom just found it, and so we just And you don't even to need it. the horse detangler or whatever. We just that's have that. We just found it on the ground. Yeah. Or this helmet. Yeah, that's Cinderella's. Anyways, look. For hurting the horses. I know that's probably not a thing. It is. Yeah, yeah it, it's rope. <laughs> yeah, we're pretending these are ropes. But, yeah, but they're not. So, so just use your imagination. Then... At the barn, there's a little dog area, which you didn't bring your dogs here. You have a lot. Yeah, because I have this a This is whole... actually a wolf, because I have a dog dream. This, this is, is actually, actually a, wolf. a wolf, but in my family, it's a husky. Oh, you found Smokey? Yeah. I named him Smokey. And anyways, just use your imagination and what you can find, and anything is possible. Literally. Seriously, literally anything. Seriously. But, but, seriously. Don't, but don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, have a great day. Have a great day, yeah. And, and I, hope you ha I hope you enjoy our videos. And I yeah. hope you like this one. Okay. And we also hope that you uh, decide to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we also that. hope that you subscribe, otherwise. Um, Her eyes, she'd be very sad. It's so cute! And, and, and this the turtle. turtle. Yeah. And if you don't think they're cute, then you're an insane. <laughs> that made it sound like it was dying. <laughs>